Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get every single emote in Stumble, guys. So as we can see right here, if we go into customize and we go into emotes and we go to legendary, I have literally every single emote you can get from punch to hug to Tetris block to snowball to spatula. What I want to tell you guys, if you guys want to get similar to me, every single email, or maybe you don't want everyone, right? Maybe invisibility, not your cup of tea. It's not mine either. Maybe you don't want that one. But my first piece of advice that I got to give you guys is do not spin these skin wheels. It's such a scam. Do not spin these. I don't know how much I've seen people say, Chase, can I please have some gems? I don't have any. And it's like, how do you not have gems? Really, how do you not have any gems? I have 26,000. How do you not have gems? And it's because they see Love Shot Wheel and they're like, Oh, I want to get the Love Shot. 1% chance for 350 gems. Come on, Love Shot. And then look what happens. Oh, Love Shot passes by. We don't get it. And instead, we get freaking Army Boy. And it's a duplicate. And then I just spent 350 gems for 10 freaking Stumble Tokens. Oh, Volcano Guy. It's a 2.99%. What is 2.99%? What, what are all these weird percentages, bro? You could have you could have just made it 3%. These wheels are rigged. And if you don't believe me, the final nail in the coffin, five gems, ready? What the freak? Okay, uh, they're listening. Every single time I've done that in my life, it's been five gems. My point proved, see, they're rigged, okay? They heard me talking about how rigged the freaking wheel is, and, and then they rigged it in my favor. They're rigged. So never spend money on any wheel, ever, ever. And now I know what you're thinking, well, Chase, what am I going to spend all my gems on? I, I, I've I, bought a lot of gems and I use code ChaseTC in the item shop. What do I spend my gems on? Well, spend it on the freaking stumble pass, bro. Activate the stumble pass and don't skip tiers, okay? Every time there's a new stumble pass, you might see my videos where I skip the tier for 30 gems a pop. I'm miserable when I'm doing it, okay? Don't freaking skip the tears. You'll get them eventually. And if you really want to unlock the stumble pass and you're like, Chase, it's just too hard. I can't win games quick enough. It takes too long. Then here's what you do. Hop into a game and the game is, ooh, okay. It's Cannonball Chaos. Now this is what you do. It's a very specific scenario to Cannonball Chaos. Matter of fact, very specific to any game. You, you go up and you go walk. myself a water from the cabinet and then what I do okay is I alt tab stumble guys and I watch some freaking YouTube boys that's that's how you do it Dave now as Dave I'm watching my favorite youtubers okay what I'll do is every now and then I'll alt tab we'll oh game's not over okay let's watch some video. more YouTube two hours later okay there's a video about a Nintendo DS let's watch that shall we oh oh okay my game ended now what I'll do is I'll spam the escape key leave and then queue up again. Now, basically what that does is it grinds your pass and you can't see it because my pass is full, but it grinds your pass. Every loss I think is like 20 points and each like pass is like a hundred points. I don't know, dude, but all I know, okay, is that one day I remember being like you. I was a newbie wondering, how am I gonna complete the stumble pass? I only have like three days left and I'm on tier like 15 or something. It was bad, right? I wasn't even close to halfway. And I was like, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna play Zelda and in the background on my phone, I'm gonna queue up and then drop it there, play freaking Zelda. And then when I see it, leave, queue up again. And I did that and I literally completed my pass within like a few hours, bro. Now, I know what you're thinking, Chase, Okay, yeah, you have 26,000 gems, okay? You got all these skins in Stumble Guys, okay? Yeah, but I would too if I paid money. You're wrong. Well, I mean, I, I guess technically you're right, but you're wrong in the sense that I never spent money, okay? I'm a completely free-to-play player. I've spent money doing giveaways for the boys, but I've never spent money on my account. And another thing too, okay? And this is something I probably... I, I wouldn't really recommend this, but... If you go into Legendary Block Dash or Title Terrors or whatever the freaking game mode is, okay, in the tournament section, you can get gems from this. It's probably not gonna happen. 
because the way you get gems from this is a complete scam, uh, if I can just enlighten you guys real quick. So here are the prizes, okay? You see, if you get 9th through 16th, you get 10 gems back, which, uh, you know, you spent 20 gems to get in, so you only get half the gems that you spent. But... That's, you might think like, oh, okay, well, if I lose, I, I only lose half my gems. And then if I get second through eighth, then I, I make my gems back. Well, you motherfuckers, if you lose the first round, you lose everything. They're not even showing that here. They, they're not, they literally don't even show it. If you lose in the first round, which half the people are going to lose in the first round, you will lose everything. You do not get any gems back. And then if you make it to the second round and lose, you'll get 10 gems back. And then if you make it to the finale... But you don't win, you will just get your gems back, which is such a freaking scam, bro. And then if you get first place, oh wow, you make 30 gems. Yeah, it doesn't cover the cost. Those 50 gems that you get, it still took your 20. So you realistically just profited 30 gems. To put it into perspective, I did the math. The amount of gems going into this are 640 gems. There are 640 gems going into this, okay? And nobody wins except first place. You might break even if, if you get to the finale, but nobody wins except for first place. And to do the math on that, okay, if you pay out all the winners, okay, their gems, you pay out all the losers, their gems, the amount of gems remaining that goes to literally nothing is 390 gems. They're just gone to freaking Scopely, bro. So yeah, I would never recommend doing this if you want to get gems and get the pass. Unless you're the most freak of nature who's ever touched the game and you're playing each game as sweaty as possible. And then, oh wait, you're taking in the factor that you're not going to get freaking Mr. Beast Lightning. Yeah, no, I would never do this. It's so hard, so hard to turn a profit on that. Now, what I would do instead is I would go into events and I would look through here. So let's just look real quick. This is only firecrackers. Lame. Okay, more only firecrackers. Lame. What about this one? Only firecrackers. Lame. What about this one? Okay, all of them are only firecrackers, which kind of sucks. But sometimes if you look at these event modes, okay, there will be gems that you can get or stumble tokens that you can get or stuff like that. And then after you've had your fill playing all these and grinding up the stumble pass, don't forget, and this is something that most players didn't have for a while, you have missions that you can do. So you can do daily missions, and look, right, I'm collecting all these things to get fireworks. Don't really give a frick, but I give a frick about these 10 gems that I see right here. But if you scroll down, there are sometimes, oh, look, gain three crowns. You can get 15 gems. Now, another piece of advice I got to give you guys, okay, is if you're a brokey, and you only have 1,200 gems. You have just enough for, for the stumble pass. Come on, baby. Then my advice is wait for a stumble pass that you give a frick about, okay? I've had a lot of people tell me, Chase, should I get the stumble pass this month? Should I get the stumble pass? And that goes for every single month. Everybody wants to know, should I get the stumble pass? Is it worth? Well, is it? I mean, ask yourself, is the spit emote worth? Do some... No, it's not. You don't got to do any thinking. Spit emote freaking sucks. But really decide it up to yourself, is it worth to get this pass? And then, if you follow every single tip that I've given you, okay? You don't spend money on the wheels, you don't spend money on legendary block dash and lose it all, okay? You probably will have enough gems to buy the pass afterwards. Seeing every single emote available. Ooh, the bananas, the, the, the fish, the ooh, the blah, blah, the whoop, the show, the ugh. Right? It's nice. Kind of just having all of them, right? So you never know. Whenever competition comes, you can, you know, you'll have the emotes for it. But at the end of the day, bro, you have room for four emotes. And most people aren't like me. Most people have a taunt emote. This is the most busted thing in the freaking game. So you really basically have room for three emotes, okay? So, yeah, who really cares? You, you have room for three emotes, bro. So get the three emotes you like, okay? And then my last piece of advice, there are classic tournaments, okay? And if you see this big fat prize pool, your eyes might get wide and get big. And you'll say, oh my gosh, if I get first place, I could have 25,000. That's more than you, Chase. Okay, yeah, it is. But you're not going to get first, okay? My advice is not get first in a freaking tour. That, that, that's really hard. But these tours happen a lot. And there is a 30 gym sign up if we look over here. But... If you get a competent team, okay, at least a decent team, okay, that doesn't suck freaking balls, 
then you should at least make your gems back and then some. You might double it, you might triple it. If you go hot and you go on a deep run, right, with your homies, then you might quadruple it, quintuple it, sextuple it, does double it, grim slubble it, schmang schmungle it. So that would be another piece of advice. And then there are, okay, these, like if you look, the sign up is free. But uh, yeah, first place, 10 gems, and you're not freaking winning. And then two to 16th place, five gems, and you're not freaking getting there, okay? I'm just, hey, I'm just gonna be honest. These tournaments are stupid, bro. You're not, you're not, it's not freaking worth it. And last but not least, okay, for real this time, for real, for real this time, if you want to just pray and get lucky, right? You're like, oh, come on, Chase, I want to get lucky. I, I want to have as many gems as you. What you can do is you can always go, like, walk around your local park and uh, ask people if you can take a picture of their credit card information and then uh, buy one of these packs right here with uh, that picture. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that, okay? Don't. But what, I, what I'm thrilled real about and what I'm really going to say is that there's a lot of content creators out there who will do giveaways. So like take me, for example, Baby Yoda, Kyle Sar, I don't, I don't know. It just depends on the person, really. There's, and there's a lot of people who play live on stream who will do giveaways. Go to Twitch and then look up Stumble Guys, okay? And then boom, click it. And then uh, let me let yeah, me just look good. through, okay? I don't know. I, this is not scripted, okay? I'm just looking. Let's see if anybody's doing giveaways. Look, freaking beautiful example right here. This guy says one win equals 200 gemas. Now, I'm not fluent in Espanol, but I know one win probably means I get 200 gems. It's a tactic that a lot of streamers like to use. Like, look at this guy. Two wins equals 1,400 gems. So that would be my last piece of advice is to go look at your local YouTube streamers, your local Twitch streamers, okay? Your community creator, comment creators, snaters. Look up on YouTube Stumble Guys giveaway, bro. Some people even give away packs. So like if we like look, there's a $20 kick pack in the shop, right? I guarantee somewhere on this earth there is a creator doing a giveaway. But that's all the information I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys take some of that information and you put it into practice, okay? This is how I have gotten every single emote, okay? And I've actually, funny enough, won giveaways before because people, I just, I just liked and commented, right? It's that easy. But hey, like and comment yourself and don't forget to subscribe. But I will see you boys in the next one. God bless and bye-bye.